Hydrocephalus is a um, chronic neurological condition characterized by um, an increase of spinal fluid, cerebral spinal fluid, or CSF, in the cavities of the brain. And hydrocephalus affects more than one million Americans. I don't know what the statistic is worldwide because it wasn't until recently that we started getting worldwide data about this condition. So it'll be um, interesting to, to see what the worldwide statistic is. But in America, it's more than one million Americans no respecter of persons diagnosed in utero with an ultrasound as a newborn, as a toddler, a young adult, an elderly person, anywhere in between. Um, because hydrocephalus can be, uh, can show itself in the development of the baby's brain or from a, a I guess, a, um, a neurological, incident, a brain injury. A brain injury can cause it, or even with a natural um, aging process. It can be caused by anything in between. Um, there is no cure for hydrocephalus. The only treatment option available is brain surgery. Some people have tried to use different medications to help control the spinal fluid production or absorption, but really, <laughs> if there is no way for spinal fluid to get out of the brain. The only way to treat it is with a shunt or pressure valve system that drains the fluid or an ETV, endoscopic third ventriculostomy. And that they poke a hole in the middle of the brain and it allows the fluid to drain quite naturally actually. But that surgery can fail. That hole can scab over, scar over, um, or the brain could just stop reabsorbing the fluid for whatever reason, and then you have to go back to a shunt or get your first shunt. Um, but shunts fail all the time. It is not unusual for a 10-year-old to, to, on their 10th birthday, have more than 100 brain surgeries and shunt revisions, or sometimes they only have the one, and they're fine with that for life. It is very, uh, variable uh, for how many brain surgeries someone would have with this. My mom said it best uh, last year. She said, you will never have a free headache because it's, oh, what's causing this headache? Is the shunt not working? Is the fluid building up? Is the barometric pressure change and I need to do something else? Do I? You can never have a free headache if you have hydrocephalus. You're always wondering why and what can I do to fix it? Um, it's a lifetime of uncertainty, really, because you never know if you're going to have another brain surgery in 10 days or 10 years. There's no way to tell. You just wake up one day with the symptoms of hydrocephalus and you get to deal with it. It costs uh, America more than $1 billion a year to treat hydrocephalus. Brain surgery is the most common reason um, or rather, it is the most common reason for brain surgery in children is, ha is having hydrocephalus and having to get a shunt or the ETV option. Um, it, is, it can be debilitating and it is an up and down. I look at these parents who have these kids with hydrocephalus and they don't know if the kid is teething or the shunt has failed. There are some symptoms that are very characteristic of hydrocephalus, but it's also characteristic of dozens of other conditions. So you really have to be aware and almost hyperly so. Having said all of that, it is manageable, it is doable, and people have very full lives and very happy lives living with um, this condition.